consideration whether they will go for another movie or not. Hello, welcome back. I had some technical difficulties, but we are back. So, anyways, tips and tricks. So, these one, like I said, you know, complicated game. But what I meant to say about Star Jelly was that it is like when using it on Windshine. You must expect there's a chance not to get Wendy to spawn because it's happened to me a couple of times. But also, we need to talk about how um blend the blender. So the blender is honestly one of the best parts. Um, of this game because you can make so much stuff it's just like like I don't really know what to say right now but blender can, the blender can really help you because I don't think you can get loaded dice anywhere else but the blender so smooth dice is still good but loaded is very very good now turpentine, turpentine, people, a lot of people use it. I've never actually got it because of how much stuff you have to use on it. Like a hundred royal jellies, which might not seem uh, like a lot to some people who don't play the game, but trust me. So <laughs> just look how much it takes to make one star jelly. And you would just times that 100. And then, not to mention, um, cautious wax, which you literally have to spend 5,222, no, 5,052 on 
one of them, and you still have to get 25 neon berries, which are like very hard to get. But you still have you still have to give soup two super smoothies, which also require star jellies, tropical drinks, purple potions, and more neon berries, and then. Honeysuckle, which you can't even make, I don't think. Yeah, you can't make it. You just have to randomly get it, and then you usually get honeysuckle to five. But passes, like I was saying before, the um, stream kind of broke, are something you really need in the game. I'm currently working on getting passes right now. But, um,. Mainly passes that work with the type of hive you are. So yeah, many masks have that. Um, some of the short things, but now I can show y'all what I was talking about with the diamond eggs. Five diamond eggs. <laughs> trust me, it's a lot more than you think. So the diamond mask is one of the best masks in the game. It grants times 1.5 blue pollen, 15 instant blue conversion, plus another 25% pollen, three times times three captivity, two times bubble pollen, 35 defense, and you can just read the stuff down there as two passes. Bow bombs needed bow. It needs bubble baths, which is hundred million, which isn't a lot. Then Pat, the next pass is Diamond Dream. I will probably never buy the um this mask, but trust me, it is one of the best masks in the game. Okay, now let's go to the um the demon mask. So this, I'm not even saying advice for mid gamers, but this is kind of for mid gamers, I guess. Talking about passes right now, I'll get to mid game stuff in a second. So the demon mask is like the same stuff, but like mainly red. So um, honestly, it's just as good because because everything is the same, but basically just flame what i do like like do like as i think um it, yeah it grant, definitely grants more attack but the pollen is you know for blue if you're like a blue hive um i guess it would be more for you i think but anyways Let's get to the mid gamer stuff. So we're about to go to the bubble mask in a second. And let's just go. Okay, so at the bubble wand, the bubble mask. So the bubble mask is isn't very hard to get. Only the kind of hard part of it is the 50 um what you might call it um blue extracts and then 15 good is isn't really hard but the bone is okay i would recommend yeah you i recommend if you're a blue hive get this first but um many people say you shouldn't get it but i think you should the blue backpack, um, also pretty good, and um, also um, good is the bubble, wand. bubble wand and the scythe. I'm about to show you what they can do. So, first things first, I can show you what the porcelain dipper. If I just stand still.
Okay, so without doing anything and just standing still, this can get you a lot of honey. I'm in pollen. Let's just start moving around. Yeah. Um, going up, yeah. This is um one of the best weapons probably in the game. Well, not weapons, but um, you, you know. Uh, so you see, I'm making about like five thousand a second. Okay, now let's go and get the um new wand. Do the same thing. Okay. As you can see, I'm already making a thousand a minute. Just start to get stuff. Later, I'll work on my um hive. I just don't want to spend on my um wardrobe. Okay, so obviously you can see you can make about three thousand a second. Now, um, this is its um field. So I just I mean I'll show you what golden rate can do, but I haven't bought the spark shaft, which lucky me. Just just don't buy ever buy the spark shaft. Ever. So like I recommend and other people to recommend that you buy the golden rate. Then you go straight to the porcelain dipper because the um spark staff is kind of a waste of your money. Got five magic beans. We can use them um actually after we're done testing this the scythe. 